Okay, so today we're going to do an experiment. Oh, yeah. So my little brother here thinks that these, and they are good, that these are the best potatoes you can get. Better than Bob Evans, better than made from scratch, better than anything. Well, that's my kids. I'm telling you, if you fix real potatoes, they're like, these aren't the good potatoes. Right. And I, and I kind of gave up because I, I always like, I love mashed potatoes. So right. I'm real picky about mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Then I made these, but I made them my way. I didn't follow their directions. I made them the way I like to make them. And uh, but I never have any left. I never have. And I have to admit, yeah, you've made them over here before. And it's like, no, those are good. And yeah. They are good. And, it, and it's real particular about. Specific. About oh, yeah. It's it. this bag. This particular bag. The buttery home style. And it's in these, this small packet. Right. Um, you don't get the ones from Sam's or Costco and the bigger ones. They're right. like, they're like dehydrated little chunks. Right. And they just, they, they don't, they'll produce the same fluffiness and everything else. It's, it's so weird. But so what we're going to do is we're going to make real potatoes. I've got, I've had potatoes. I made got some russet, two pounds of russet potatoes and boil them up. And we're going to make potatoes from scratch. And they boil for about 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. So it takes a while because I left them whole so they didn't turn to total mush. Yeah, they lose all their flavor. Too. Right. Yeah, there's nothing out. left. And it's a lot of work. Making, oh, it making is. real potatoes is a lot of work. I mean, you work. don't mind doing it, but if everybody prefers the other ones, it's kind of silly. Yeah. And that's, I just found it just, uh, and my house, it just wasn't, it wasn't worth, worth the, the effort. effort. Right. It really wasn't. I even had a machine that would, you'd put the potatoes in and it would steam them and then it automatically on a timer would take off and it would whip them for you. It would mix them all oh, up. Did the whole thing. Everything. Jeez. It was crazy. And still, and I thought, well, this won't be bad. And my kids still are like, you know, can we have the other ones? We want the good potatoes. And it was like, oh my gosh. You know, it's a lot of work. Oh, it's a so, ton of work. By the time you do all this, it's a ton of work to, to make mashed potatoes. Yeah. And I mean, we do it every year. Those taters out of there. I don't guess we really need them, but. And that's good enough. So, two pounds of potatoes. And I always like to mash them a little bit first with this to knock out the, the big pieces. Yeah. Just to get them started. And make sure you're getting it over here. Oh, yeah. It's, that's mashing up good. So, is that ready to be able to use a, a smaller whisk on it? Hopefully. You, you got a good sized chunk right there. Still, so we got two thirds of a cup of milk. I'm going to heat this up because yeah. if you use cold milk, it's going to tend to cool off potatoes. And I don't want to my cool. old fashioned one. Old wooden handles on it. I'm helping you out here. Yeah. There you go. I'll let you. No, so keep going. Just, you, you got to heat up your milk to make yeah. it work right. So, yeah, so it doesn't seize the potatoes up. You want to put in hot stuff as much as you can. Hot That's why stuff. your butter's got to be at room temperature so that it's not hot stuff that's what they used to call me wasn't it <laughs> yeah that was your nickname in school yeah. wasn't it yeah hot stuff so you've warmed your milk up see if it's warm it's not hot not yet. yet you know how lance is not a common name really that much anymore right yeah other used, than lance armstrong yeah you know back in the medieval medieval times they used to use uh the name lance a lot <laughs> oh, Lance a lot. <laughs> Not funny. Okay. Have you been back in the woods lately? <laughs> I was there this morning. That it's funny you say that. The stone temple that was like my height, right, is down to about this height. Even the big stones that I said, there's no way somebody can lift those off. They're moved. Moved. In, I, I didn't even see them. I don't even know where they're at. What is going so, on? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm troubled. I had two little chipmunks come running and stopped in front of me as I'm on the path. Really? And I was waiting for him to speak to me, but they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have any comment. Yeah. No comment. But it was so, it's been weird. I'm just not sure what to think. Need help? Here, I'll hold it. I know you're going to insert the uh, milk in there. Yeah, in just a minute here. I'm trying to get it up to... With all the kids you had, you never named him Kid Lance, did you? No. At least not that I know of. Yeah, poor old Lance Armstrong's room, that name now. Yeah. Everybody thinks of his tour to France and all the doping stuff. Yeah. Hey, man, That's a shame. 
You getting a little bit on you? Yeah, I'm in the splash zone. I feel like I'm at SeaWorld. <laughs> <laughs> she moves in there. Yeah. Where's the big fish? See, these are a lot of work, man. Oh, they are. I'm going to raise my splash hands here. Well, you're right. I mean, there's a ton of work to getting these down to a smooth level where they're yeah really and, and it's funny if you whip them so much there's no chunks left and then you're like well are these real potatoes or are these well, that's the, that's and it's the thing like, that we're yeah. going to get down to here at the end is i'm trying to make these as much like yours as i can so that people won't be able to tell which is which yeah but i used to kind of leave a little bit of hint but then you never knew if somebody just thought you didn't do a good job of mixing your stuff Oh, exactly. Up. That was the thing is yeah. nobody wants to deal with that. They're like, oh, I do not know. I'm going to throw some butter in there. And... I'm putting yeah. a whole stick of butter in here. So I want these I want these to win. I want people to look and go, oh, no, those are good. I like those. Yeah. Yeah, whipped potatoes look incredible oh, as they opposed are. to just mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are Nobody likes big clumps of stuff in yeah. that stuff. You know, as I know it's a big trend for a while, smashed potatoes. Yeah, people, I mean, because, oh, you can taste the real potatoes in yeah. there. It's like, well, I don't know, as kids, nobody wanted to taste the real potatoes in there. I want that whippy stuff. Yeah, you wanted it all nice and fluffy and pretty. Yeah. As you yeah. can see, we're putting quite a bit of butter in these. And Mom did. I mean, she put cream in there. Right, evaporated milk, yeah. Yeah, evaporated milk, yep. Yeah. And some people do that with their potatoes today. I mean, they'll add heavy cream, half and half, yep. evaporated to make them milk. Smooth. And then other people add cream cheese. I hate cream cheese. I hate so. cream cheese too. So it's one of those that's like, that ain't happening. Cream cheese, that's stuff you put on bagels, right? Yeah, it's same stuff yeah. you put on bagels. You like it because it's the stuff that's in uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake. That's the only time I like it, though. When it's cooked in something? Yeah. yeah. But it's like, I, I tried the Philadelphia and I just took a little thing on my finger and put it in my mouth and it was like oh boring it's awful i didn't like it at all it wasn't appealing now i want to put some salt in here because i know it has no salt in it so that's a half a teaspoon of salt it says look good i don't know if you can see them on the camera but i think they look good but it was again you've got a well over a 30 minute ordeal just to just to make it all happen oh yeah that's a lot you know, you got to plan that whole thing out. Needs more salt. I was going to say, that ain't much salt. I know. Well, you salted butter. So when you use salted butter, you never know how much salt that's going to put in there. And a lot of people don't use salted butter for that reason. Being from the country, you use a lot of salt anyway. Yeah. That's why we all die young. <laughs> High blood pressure. Yeah, everybody's on uh, blood pressure medicine. Yeah. Got that hypertension. Yeah. And they say once you get off the salt that everything tastes fine to you, but I just can't imagine. I can't either. I tried to cut back and it was like, man. Well, you did cut back because you used to use oh my God. a ton of salt. Well, it's because I played so much basketball and I sweat so much when I was young. Yeah, I'd take his salt pills for dad to take, get them from work. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to put this one. I'm going to chuck it in the oven to keep it somewhat warm. All right. The oven ain't on, so I should have turned the oven on before I started. But let's turn on 250 just to keep it. All right. So let me get this off for you. And you can go ahead and start making yours up. Oh, here we go. This will be the quickest time ever. This will make a whole lot of Again. difference. Again. Idahoan, or however you pronounce it here. Idahoan. Buttery, home style. And we, I bought those down at Kroger today. They're a buck a bag, and it's yep. like almost a point uh, They're a buck and a quarter bag. The price has gone up on them now. Oh, well, I get them, you know what, I get them a lot of times at Sam's Club. They're eight for like five bucks. Oh, some kind of multi-pack mm -hmm. thing? Yeah, cardboard box. So you don't need this, do you? No, we no, don't need no we don't need that. You know, usually, I, I am going to need some kind of spoon to stir this up, though. Well, you want a spatula or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take anything. Or a spoon. I just want to whip them up a little bit without putting that in yet. Okay. Just to mix them up. And and I'm going to need, here's a whole cup, and I'm going to need a cup of water. If you it's don't. right here. Oh, that's a cup? Wow. Yeah, that's a cup of water. 
I just want to get them blended. I'm just trying to get all the major lumps out, you know? And this is like the easiest thing in the world. My kids went off to college and man, they, their friends thought they were chefs because they could make cooked. these taters. Yeah, they just couldn't believe you could get that kind of potatoes out of a bag at your house. So, but again, they're really picky though now. I mean, as, as they've gotten older, um, they are, they'll be at wherever, Myers in Michigan. Right. And man, that is the only thing they'll buy. Other people <laughs> Go are like, yeah. Specifically for those potatoes. Those ones. That's it. That's amazing. If you look in my house in the cabinet right now. Nothing but. There's, uh, I want to say, probably 16 bags of those. Really? Not that I eat those every week, but <laughs> it might look like I eat those every week. Well, I'm going to whip this up a little bit just to, just to get it going. Here, move it over here on the boards here so, so the camera can see the magic. Man, this is so fancy. Mine's got a long cord. Yeah, this cordless stuff is nice. I've never used this one before. That's pretty pretty good. You just want to get it whipped up good. You know, I like it you're looking just, good before I put it in the microwave. You're just blending it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I just don't want lumps. And this kind of guarantees I don't have any lumps. Right. See, that looks pretty smooth, doesn't it? Looks pretty smooth, yeah. I'm going to zip this over the wrong way. And then I'm going to put it in there for about four minutes. Take it back out, and I'll put my butter in there. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. I know this isn't the way they say to do it on their little bag, but I'm matter. just trying to tell you how I make it and my kids make it. And how it works. You've got a fancy drawer thing here. Hit the open button. Where's open? Open. open. And this like regular microwave type thing. Just four? Hit close. Um, cool. All right. Hit four. Oh, what did it do? Power, level. Okay, stop. Now just hit, hit four. four zero zero. And hit start. Okay. Boom. Man, it's fancy. Fancy. So we want to talk for four minutes or you want to come back? Whichever. Let's kill it for four minutes. Okay. We, we do talk that. a lot. All right. Pause it. All right. So we're back with it. Had a little camera issue there. Um, basically, the biggest thing was that it, it's smooth still, and I'm introducing the butter, letting it kind of melt. And um, the advantage of doing it this way, it's hot, so it melts quickly. And right. so it's, I'm kind of... Just kind of folding it in here. Let right. Put these last couple little pads. This is a half a stick of butter I put in here. Right. So again, it was uh, a cup of water, cup of milk, and a half a stick of butter. I'll put some um, salt in in a little bit. And one packet of the Idahoan buttery yeah. home style. They're cheap. Like you said, buck and a quarter, you said, but usually I pick them up for a buck a piece. Yeah. Even at Kroger's, they usually have the 10 for 10 specials. Yeah, they don't this okay, week. They got some other kind that was on sale this week. These were right. four for five. I'm gonna blend this up a little bit. Yeah. Man, it does send it sail on a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's I, one of those that it seems to work pretty good most of the time, but you just never know with some of these. I like mine a little creamier. I'm gonna need a little water, if you don't mind. Yeah, if you want to add a touch more water, that's fine. Can you give me a little bit? Yeah. How much more do you need? Just a little. I'm gonna put Oh, I sent them flying. Put some more in there. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. It's only like a couple tablespoons. Why am I sending this thing sailing? If I got it too high? See that? I'm not so good at this. That bowl. Some of these bowls are not as tall as others. It's mine. I never send anything flying. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. About the way you want it? Yeah. Let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll blend it. I'm going to put it in the microwave for a little bit more. Um, I think they recommend four minutes to five minutes, and I usually do mine four minutes, and then I do another about two and a half minutes, and uh, stir it back in if I need a little more. Right. Um, a little more water added to it, I will. Um, I think I'm going to need some more water actually. Want some more in there? Yeah, I still think that's a little thicker. I like it more whipped. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, and I can just whip that in my hand a little bit. There we go. That's maybe another tablespoon in there. Yeah. And I'll just whip that up here by hand. Sorry it takes so long. Usually it doesn't take this long. Sure. Well, as long as you don't spend 30 minutes folding them in, you're still ahead of the game. 
<laughs> yeah. That's the problem with real potatoes. Oh yeah, they take they take time. But those do have a good flavor to them. I mean, oh, that's they're, the thing. They're incredible. Can I have just a little more water? I'm sure. sorry. Yeah, no problem. I just like them a little, little more whippy. Thank you. That's it. That's perfect. Um, and, and then I just, you don't really have to whip them up if you don't want to, um, according to what they look like after I pull them back out of two and a half minutes. And according to how you're wanting to impress, you know, I don't have to impress my kids, but maybe right. if they got somebody with them, I might whip them to where they're like... Real fluffy. Oh, you know, yeah. Peaks people. And stuff. Yeah. They, they love where, where that. They have the stiff peaks. Yeah, stiff peaks. There you go. Stiff peaks in your taters. All right. I'm going to throw it in there for a couple minutes. I think it'll be. All right. So we're going to pull it here and see what they. So exactly two minutes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Oops. Close. Ooh, steamy hot. I can see it already. Yeah, they look, they look nice and creamy and smooth. Yeah, they do. They look great. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I'm going to put some salt in here, and I'm going to whip them again. Yeah, because I them can't really want them. All right. And that's, again, you know, we usually say it's, it's kind of seasoned to taste. So let me whip these in here. Oh, man, look at that. They look great. Just need our gravy, you know? Yeah, well, we'll do that here in a uh, in our next video, I think, we'll do the gravy. I'm going to whip this up so it looks prettier. Yep. Cool. Mm. Yeah, it's looking great. I could go a little creamier, but... Hey, hit me just a little bit of water again. A little just bit more? A little bit. I do. I like them a little, little wetter. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Yeah. You then, got the salt in them already? Yeah, I salted them. So you got them the way you like them? I think so. I'm going to move them down, and then I'll take a little hit. Ooh. Got them? I think they're there. So what we'll do, we're going to take a spoonful of these, put them on a plate. All right. We still rolling on both cameras? I hope so. I'd hate to think we, we've shut off again and our great, our great masterpiece is, is not reaching the millions who are sitting out there waiting for the, the ultimate answer. Mm. Yeah, I need my spoon to stir these up a bit. Well, they've been sitting in that oven a while, so. Yeah. Oh, yours are smoother now. I guess I can move this out of the way. This will be interesting. Oh, my, my, my scoop is bigger. Yeah, it's misleading. Big scoops. All right. Now, how are we going to do this? I don't know. Oh. We probably ought to move these off out of the way. So, how are we going to mark these? Well, yours has a bit of tater on the edge. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put a little fold there where it's at so it's obvious that you can... Oh, there's a little rip there. Perfect. Okay. Now, so, oh, now, we, now we need to move this stuff so it's not so obvious, right. which is which. Right. I'll just put mine on the oven. Ooh, I made a mess. All right. Let me turn this off. Do we have any little... Uh, so we're going to get a couple people to try them and see what they think. They know the difference. Come on over here. Come on over here. 
What is there's this? two different ones. There's two different potatoes. I'd like you to test each one of them and tell me which of these two would be your choice for Thanksgiving dinner. Good stuff. That one has a bit more mass to it, I can already feel. <laughs> well, more mass. Which, the mass. You like those better? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. And go, let's see. Go get another random it, person. And it is a torn plate, so we know what, which one that one is. Go down, we'll, we'll, we'll come back Go downstairs and grab, uh, if you have any siblings, or upstairs, or downstairs probably is your best bet. Yeah. So far, so good. This is... Um, young lady, please come forward. Yeah, come on over here. Somebody randomly pulled from the studio audience. Yeah. Test this. And you don't want to look at them that much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can tell that those are the real potatoes because mm. of the mass, like Quentin said. This one has more butter in it. And I do like those. You like these better? I think. Okay, you sure? Try the other one again, make sure. This is really tough. This one has more lumps in it. Yeah. So which one do you like better? That one. That one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's two. Me again. <laughs> I thought she was going to get that one completely I, wrong. She, she got it completely wrong yeah. at first. She, she, she called this one as being the real potato. The real potato. Because the more, more mass. mass. See? It's fascinating. See, uh, most of our crowd that watches these videos, I think they said is is 90, what years old did they get? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. You, know, you, you are not old. Yeah. You're the one hot young yep. person in there. Yeah. It's really vibrant and vivacious. Oh. And we'd love to hang out with you. Yeah, I just There's a lot like of other old people watching this, but not you. Just sit across from me and lock eyes. <laughs> just chit chat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, this is a food blog. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not a dating site. Well, what, what did I say to you the other day? I said, uh, I said, do you know when the meat market's going to open up? <laughs> and you looked at me funny. And then you said, oh, the senior the center. The senior center's going to open soon. <laughs> So, we got no takers. Nobody. Well, I mean, Zach doesn't eat mashed potatoes. Oh, well, well. I guess that's it. Our, it's, it's unanimous. Yep. Oh, they are good. I mean, they are great. You can't argue with that. Here, give me a spoon. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna try. All right. I know what they are. It does have mass. It does. I mean, it's one of those that you, I mean, I think the add, making it with the milk. Which is crazy because this is real potatoes. Real potatoes. The one you picked, just so you know, was the instant, instant potatoes, potatoes. The, the way I make them. So I do add a whole lot more fat into it by the milk. Correct. And you can rinse it off and try yep. I, I do. I like it still better. Your, your real potatoes are good. Oh, they are. But if I'm wanting... It, it's there's something about this ties to you. It's, it's well, the uh, whole thing that you base it on is the fact the amount of work that goes into making oh, these. I'm ten the minutes and you're those. and you're forty minutes. Right. So again, I, mean, I like real potatoes. I do too. I love real potatoes. But those are good. I mean, they're yeah. just they're good. So again, here we are. I don't know if you can see it. Now, that's the ones. Now, if you we, them? if Idaho, who, who even makes Idaho? I don't even know who makes, what company makes these. They're made in Idaho. They're made in Idaho. Mm, Idaho and Foods. I, okay. We ought to buy stock in these guys. Well, and now the, they'll probably send us some potatoes. They should send I us mean, some. We just made real potatoes and went to And they're our, great. And, and, and consensus says, uh, I'm going to do that as opposed to that. Yeah. I like these, 
But 10 minutes, man, yeah. and 40 minutes. Yeah. It's a totally different. But again, the trick is you got to listen to what I said, the way you make them. Yeah. If, if you follow their directions, not going to be as good. I don't want to say they suck, but they're not as good. I won't get free potatoes probably. Yeah. But they're you, not, not even close to being as good. They should put a separate little blurb on the back senior skillet direction. Oh, you know, they'll probably, put, honestly, they're probably going to put our logo on the front and say, see the website for directions. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they watch will. the video. Well, we're, we're going to have to give Idahoan two thumbs, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. The other ones were really good, yeah. but I hate winning. Yeah, you win, you win. I, hey. I got to take the L on this one. Yeah. Even though I like them. I just love that they, they talked about the density of the fakies. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, let's wrap it. It's been fun. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.